Hey YouTube, Devin here with Comics and Stuff. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Hope you're all doing okay. I have little Easton here with me today. Say hello. Um, I know you guys used to watch EJ do these with me when he was a little guy, and now we have this one. So anyways, uh, today's video is going to be six DC Comics characters with non-comic book origins. Um, these characters will generally have less than, oh, say, 200 appearances in the DC Universe, and um, normally I will have a example character to go with it, such as Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, or whatever, to talk about how many times they appeared as opposed to these characters, but these characters I find to be outside of the realm of DC's norms, so I'm just going to talk about them because a lot of people didn't even realize that these characters either came from outside sources um, that had non-comic book origins, uh, or you know they, they were just like total like one-off runs. So I'm just going to kind of talk about them because they're fun. Um, the first one I'll talk about is, I mean, you'll see what I mean with this one, The Adventures of Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Um, those guys are celebrities. Those guys are real-life people. And DC Comics published a 40-issue uh, special about them. There's eight issues a year uh, with Dean Martin, the King of Cool, and Jerry Lewis, the King of Comedy. Um, they formed a comedy duo in uh, and de debuted in 1946 in real life. And, um, you know, DC Comics made a, um, I guess, a, a comic book about their antics and adventures. Uh, the, the series ran from 1952 to 1957. Um, it's, uh, it ended in 1957 because Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin actually ended up breaking up, um, you know, in 1956. So that brought the series to the end. But that was a awesome comic book series that apparently was pretty popular. And it's kind of hard to find those books in, like, nice high grades. Um, so there's that. There's Captain Action, and a lot of you guys may know who Captain Action is. I mean, he had a very popular line of toys. Uh, he was an action figure made by uh, the Ideal Toy Corps in uh, 1966, and he came with a wardrobe to change him into different superheroes. So you couldn't get the superhero. It wasn't a superhero doll. It wasn't a Superman doll. It was a Captain Action doll with a Superman costume, which was pretty cool. Um, in 1967, because of his popularity, Action Boy was created uh, and added to... Um, the roster, and then there's also a villain, uh, Dr. Evil. Uh, and no, that's not the one from Austin Powers. Dr. Evil was just Action action Man's, um, or Captain Action's villain, Dr. Evil. Uh, the first comic of Captain Action uh, was Captain Action and Action Boy number zero, came out in 1967, and the rest of the series, numbers one through five, came out in 1968, so it was a very short run. It was discontinued in 1968, um, and it resurfaced actually again in 1998 and lasted until about 2000, so it did have a bit of a resurgence. Uh, and then there the, there were plans to relaunch the figure um, by Caption, uh, Captain Action Enterprises. Um, that was announced in 2005, but nothing has happened. We're still waiting, so, you know, tick-tock. Um, next, we have Bumba the Jungle Boy, and he was a uh, TV series and, um, like, actual children's book character. Uh, ran for seven issues, and Bumba started as a book series that imitated characters like Tarzan. Um, the first book was published in 1926, so pretty far off, and he had a uh, monogram, he had a little serial movie made by Monogram Pictures in 1949. The TV series was by uh, WGN TV in 1962, and then finally the comic series uh, was from 1967 to 1968. So that's Bumba the Jungle Boy. Uh, next, we have a much more popular character, Isis. Now, if you guys watch DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the character Isis is a major character on the show. Um, she actually had a CBS TV show from 1975. Look at this kid squirm. From 1975 to 1977, and it had two seasons with crossovers uh, with DC's uh, Shazam TV series. Uh, the first live-action American TV series uh, to feature a female superhero lead was the ISIS TV show, so that was cool. Big stuff for ISIS. And um, her comic series had eight issues, and it ran. Um, it came out in 1976. Uh, ISIS is, like I said, on the DC's uh, Legend of Tomorrow. She's a popular character in the DC universe now, um, and you can pick her You know, first issue up. It's not that scarce, so there's that. Two more characters over done, you guys. We have Jackie Gleason and the Honeymooners, and... I mean, you know, come on, it's Jackie Gleason, you know, from TV, the honey, uh, the honeymooners, you know, is a, what is it, uh, right, right in the kisser, or straight to the moon, it, I, I never watched the show, but, I mean, he's very commonly referenced in pop culture. So it was a classic TV show from 1955 that lasted until 1956 with 39 episodes uh, and 16 follow-up sketches on the Jackie Gleason show, and it was picked up by DC Comics as a comic book uh, the same year, uh, 1956, and it ran for 12 issues. 
And then the last... You see him drooling on me? And the last character on this uh, list is going to be Mr. D District Attorney, uh, which is actually a radio serial. Uh, and he became... It, so it, was a, it was a crime serial uh, on NBC and ABC and aired from uh, 1939 to 1952. Um, and then DC Comics picked up the serial as a comic book series and ran for uh, 67 issues, which was a lot. And that was from 1948 to 1959, so over 10 years. Um, and then Mr. District Attorney also actually received a TV show that aired from 1951 to 1954. So that was a pretty popular character. Um, but that's it. Those are our six characters that uh, had non-comic book origins that DC Comics has. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me and Easton here. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys next, next Friday. Bye.